Hi there, I'm Kara McCarthy and it's time to Karenize. It is Timu time. I got a little order. It's not a huge one, but I thought I'd share it with you real quick. And um, I got a couple of orders coming in probably about two weeks and then I'll have a, a longer haul. But okay, I am going to scoop back a little bit because I've got some clothes to show you. And I want to be able, I'm, you're not going to be able to see all of it, but I will do pictures at the end. This dress... It's either a dress or you could use it as a long tunic with leggings under it. This was $8.98 and I just loved the print. I loved all the color and the kind. Of, it kind of reminded me of kids drawings. So I just really liked it. So got a large in that and it's very soft. It's like t-shirt material. Speaking of t-shirts, this was $5.99 so I couldn't pass it up because I love dragonflies and I love orange. It says let it be down there at the bottom if you can't read it. But so cute and soft. Then this one, this was one of their, you know, the emails you get every single day that say we got a great deal for you or you've won a prize or or something. This one was one of those because you liked other things. We think you're going to love this. And it was only $4.74. So I just had to get it. It's just a simple white top, that kind of waffle kind of fabric and then lace sleeves. I just thought it was really cute. And then the last but not least on the clothes is this kind of funky dress. Um, I gotta find the top here. They call it polka dot if I remember right, but I'm gonna get this close and see if you can see. It's really little daisies. And it's short sleeved. It's kind of a, I don't know what material this is. It's not a soft like t-shirt material, but it's not, I don't feel it bothering my skin because I have issues with textures. Anyway, it's got that gathering or whatever you call this under the bust and then the the tiered kind of peasant look and um i just thought it might be kind of fun even if i just wear it around geez is there a purple thing going on um just wear it around the house i don't know we'll see what it looks like on all right i'm gonna get closer did i tell you the price of that it was 10 17. i got some some markers i want to do some rock painting for one thing we have we have a kind of a tradition around where I live where people decorate rocks and leave them around for people to find. The tourists love it. They find them all over the place. So I thought these would be kind of fun. So this was $9.51 for 24 acrylic paint markers. And I did scribble with one of them. So you can see how they work. They're not a fine tip, which is fine. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that wasn't a pun intended. Um, these were nine, no, eight ninety eight, and it was ten metallic markers. Let me see where I opened them. They have a little bit of a metallic glint to them if you do, you know have it in the right light, but some more pretty colors. So I have a lot of pretty colors to do some of that rock painting. I love. I don't know if I can get him to do that. We're gonna try it, but I love that kind of look. Okay, then I got, there were three of these for $2.47. Um, they're just white markers, which will be really handy for when I'm doing accents on eyes or other kinds of accents in my crafts. Um, so I thought, why, bought, why not? And then the last thing, I, um, woo, I had just recently heard of a technique called felting. I had never heard of it before. I'm trying to find all the pieces. I can't find a couple of the things that, there they are. Um, I had never heard of it before. I saw it when I was looking for videos on how to do Highland cows and one gal was using doing felting to make the horns. So if you've ever heard of it and you've ever done it, let me know and I'd love to know any tips that you have. Um, so I got a few kits. The first one I got is this little pig. He's got this little kitty, um, yeah, what do you call it? Like life preserver? And I thought it was so cute. I actually have a pig collection. The first thing my husband ever won for me at a carnival was a pig, and it kind of started a collection. So I saw this and thought, I think I need it. Um, when I first opened it, I was like, oh no, no directions? I have no idea. But there's a link to a video that shows you how to do it. And I watched just a couple minutes, and it looked, looked like it's going to show me pretty well. So this is the... I, I don't know if it's like felt that's feathered out. It um, It's almost like cotton, and it's what you use to do the felting. And then it has 
This little doodad is what you do it on so you're not, I guess, poking yourself or your table when you're felting. And it has the little felting tools in here. I'll pull one out if I can get it out. Whoops, I don't know if you can see it, let me. So like kind of needles. And, um, and then it comes with, these little things are for the eyeballs. And I don't know what this thing is yet. It looks almost like another felting tool. And then it looks like you can attach this like to a keychain or something. So cool. And that kit was, yes, where did I write it? <laughs> oh man, I can't find where I wrote it. Where's the, oh, here it is, uh, 248. Then I got this kit, this has all the same things, uh, just different colors. So this little mouse, it was a little bit more expensive. 338. I think, you know, a lot of times things come from different vendors too, kind of like Amazon. I think team was kind of like Amazon. So some vendors charge more than others. Um, and this little bee is two, was 218. And since I'm doing a bee theme right now, I'm going to make this one first. So hopefully I'll have one of them done before the next video and I can show you if I remember, hopefully I do, or, um, I don't know, I might work on it tonight. If it's something you can get done quickly, I'll have a picture in this video. So that was it for this time. Have a great one and we will talk to you next time. So last night while I was watching TV, I made this little guy. He was actually pretty easy. I'm sure I'll get better as time goes by because his flower isn't real perfect or anything. And his smile's a little crooked, but I think he's adorable.